Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Oh my goodness, did you see? Oh, oh, oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Robert Earl White with the Order of Light here today to share with you an awesome UFO I captured just a few nights ago. In this video, you will see multiple UFOs all in the same video. Along with that, the main UFO, you will see it doing some sort of power up. It literally just starts to get super, super bright and then it just fades out and keeps going. Absolutely incredible. Also in this video, you will notice me calling out some flashes that I saw with my visible eye and I call them out saying, what was that strange flash? I was thinking that they're starting to communicate with me and doing some weird flashes. And when I stop and analyze it and zoom in and I show you what these flashes are and how they are moving in all sorts of crazy patterns. It's absolutely incredible. So before I get into this, recently I've started the members for my YouTube page and I want to give a shout out to all the new members that we have. Firstly, Omensky, thank you. Christiana K, really appreciate it. My big sis, Elena Danan, thank you so much. Roxanne Victor, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Terry Priest, big shout out to you. Sansi Array, thank you. Natasha, thank you, thank you. OM Wave 108, really appreciate the love and support. Goldilocks Productions, thank you so much. I will be doing an interview with her in the future. Also, my good friend, Miles E. So I really appreciate all the love and support. If you would like to become a member of this channel to help support me and with what I'm trying to do with the disclosure movement, go into the description there. You will find the link to sign up and to become a member where you can have exclusive badges, emojis, and members only content and lives that only you will see. Really appreciate it and I hope that you enjoyed this video. At the end of this video, I will go over some other UFOs that I caught within 10 minutes of the Power Up UFO and in that video you will see two different UFOs. Actually, in the beginning of the frame, you see the second one while the other one's going off. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to provide some information and some links for everyone I had a question of one of the subscribers asked, how do you know that these things aren't satellites, rocket debris, meteorite, and other phenomena that's going on? I use a really awesome app and I'm going to go over those apps so you will know how to track satellites, debris, and other things that are very, very natural and not extraterrestrial floating around in the sky. So when you are seeing these things, you can understand if it's a satellite or not. And that will all be in the end of the video. So make sure you watch it until the end. Really appreciate everyone's love and support. I'm rocking the We Are The Disclosure t-shirt. You can check that out in the link down below and the merchandise store that you can find on this channel as well. So uh, it's great. We got tank tops if you need them. It's pretty hot out here in New Jersey and the skies have been busier than they ever have been before. And I'm catching them left and right. And I hope that by showing all of you these videos, you will have an idea of what you're looking for in hopes that you will be able to see these things for yourself and record them, put them on your Facebooks, your TikToks, your YouTube, whatever social platform you use. That's what we're doing. Thank you. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Oh my goodness, did you see? Oh, 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 hey guys, I can't believe, did you see that? Did you see that light? Whoa, I got another one. They're here, they're flashing, they're, they're, they're interacting with me. Hey guys, hey. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Out here, I have a lot of different activity going on. I'm gonna calm my heart rate. Take a good breath in. Oh, yep, we got another one over here. Hey guys, I'm here to make contact. You can come down, say hi. Wow, it's one after another. 
had one over there that was flashing with me. Whoa. I just caught something. There's a lot going on right now. Wow. Everyone on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe, share this. There was a massive one that just burnt out. All right. I got a bug on my ankle. I want to go back to the, the dipper. I was getting a lot of activity there. That was awesome. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Oh my goodness. Did you see? Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, I can't believe. All right, here you can see it was white, just a white ball of light. And during the power up of this UFO, it got super bright. And as you can see, all these different vibrant colors that are emitting from this craft. A very unique shape about this and some of the colors that are involved is just absolutely beautiful this one was extremely bright and what makes this so interesting after flashing all of these colors having that prominent shape to it eventually it just dies out it fades off I've seen UFOs do this quite often where They'll be really bright and right above you. They just fade out to just about nothing. And as you can see there, it's just a white dot. All right, here's the replay of the first flash I caught. Keep in mind, I saw this with my visible eye and shouted it out. Now, what's really interesting about this, it actually moves. Look at this. It moves from there to there, and it makes a complete 90-degree turn. Look at this at the replay. I've never seen a craft do a sharp turn. Also keep in mind, this is all within a less than a second. This is literally frames. You can see it moving. That is not a satellite. It's time people wake up and realize these things are absolutely real. Incredible footage. Look at it go. Now this one was amazing. A quick flash. I don't see much movement, but it's strange. It's two lights. They seem to be separate, or they could be connected to the same craft. I'm not sure. And what's really interesting about this, you can see some movement. Before it's there, you see these three little dots as if it's moving. So whatever this is, it's a strange anomaly, these two lights. Uh, one has a bluer white light to it and another one has a little bit of green on the back. Very strange and unique. And I also saw this with my visible eye and called it out in the video. Second video, five minutes after the first one. Hey. Show me something good, come on. Oh, this is perfect. We got the house for reference. Man, beautiful. Oh, it just changed directions and had a little boost. Did everyone see that? Wow. Kind of creepy kid screaming in the background.
I lost it. Now, after recording these first couple UFOs, I heard something big and flying really low heading right over towards the area where I was seeing these UFOs. Turns out it was a big old helicopter. So it's an interesting video. No UFOs are in this video, but the fact that some sort of military chopper was flying around and going off into the same area was very interesting shortly after I was recording these things. So let's take a look at that footage. Uh, you'll hear me being a goofball saying that, you know, they're probably looking for me or whatever. I was going to hit them up with the laser, but yeah, so check it out. Robert Earl White, so I've been seeing a lot of UFO activity and I have some air traffic rolling over right now, gonna zoom in. Some sort of helicopter. Should I shine my laser at it? <laughs> Just kidding. Interesting. Well, I feel like right now is a good time to scan the sky to see if anything's trailing behind this. If it's clearing a flight path, acting as a distraction, I don't know. That's just the plane. We got some clouds rolling in. Another plane down there, hard to see with the light glare. The, the helicopter's coming back. Whoa. They're probably looking for me. There it is. Wow. So earlier, when I was recording, I was recording the Big Dipper. I had all that UFO activity and that chopper is swirling around the area. I wanna keep documenting this. You never know. The one thing I saw was quite remarkable. I'm really lucky I caught that on camera. This is all one night. I'll have the times. Everyone please subscribe to the channel. In the future, I hope to be doing this live. I want to do this live. Have a live chat. It's just hard to have this kind of quality over a live. That's an airplane. Never know when you're gonna catch something. After the helicopter incident, I had one more and I ended the night out with my laser. I went back inside, which before I didn't have the laser, I was just outside taking my dog outside and I didn't have my laser pointer. My last one, I did have my laser pointer and I will try to use it 
more. I don't like to use my laser too often. I feel like it can send a bad message and I'm very cautious not to shine this laser at any sort of actual aircraft. It can do a lot of damage and it's definitely not cool. And when I do shine them at these UFOs and our space friends, I try to shine it in its general area to get its intention. I don't put the laser directly on it. So let's roll that footage. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. I'm still out here. I got one. Hey, my friend. Hey. Whoa. It started moving. I think I got its attention. Look at that. Hey buddy, I see you, come on, I have a plane coming so I had to stop. I didn't want the plane that was coming. Hey guys, what's up? Look at it go. There's the plane. I didn't want to show you the difference. That's a plane. That's not a plane. Plane. Not a plane. <laughs> Just to let everyone know out there. Can you guys put on a show for me? Alright. Good stuff. Got a little laser time. Once again, been standing in the backyard. Got the big old dipper. Mm, I wonder what's in that dipper. New England clam chowder in that dipper right there. All right, so the other day I had one of my subscribers write in a comment, how do you know if these things are a satellite, some sort of rocket, a meteorite, or a comet phenomena, shooting stars, or just space debris floating around? How do you know that the things that you're recording aren't these things? I said, that's a wonderful question. So I wanted to provide a couple things for all of you and you can see them right here. There are three main apps I'm going to be talking about. The first one is an absolutely phenomenal app. It will help you track satellites in your location. If something's going above you, it will tell you. The second one here is the Heavens Above app, and I really, really like because a lot of times I have a telescope, I do a lot of moon watching and also other phenomena that is naturally happening. And with the Heavens Above app that you see here, it's really nice because it tells you the weather conditions, how clear the skies are, if there's meteor showers, and all of that good stuff. And all of these links will be in the description down below so you can uh, find it if you go into the app store and type satellite tracker or something like that or even heavens above into the app store you will find these three apps right at the top and the third one here is a great one for tracking satellites and debris rockets starlink etc very useful tools and you can see this right here and make sure that you go into that description what i do personally i have a backup phone i have two phones on my other phone i have the satellite apps and all that good stuff when I'm recording the UFOs, I do it on this phone. That way I have a phone that's just active, scanning for satellites and things like that. And I'm recording these objects and we do not have that satellite traffic, rocket traffic and meteor showers at the time that I am recording these things flying around in the sky. Also with the power up thing, satellites don't power up like that and just fade out a satellite you'll see it for a very very long time 
satellites do look a lot like these UAPs. And that's the very confusing part. So these apps are a huge part and very crucial for knowing what is a satellite and what isn't. When something is at that distance, that far away, it just seems to be a ball of light. You don't know what it is, the shape of it, and a satellite and a UFO. Oftentimes when they're flying around in our atmosphere and in space above the Earth, you know, it can be very difficult to distinguish what is a satellite and what is a UFO. And I hope that these apps here will help you determine what is what. So next time you're outside, you will be able to see something good. So thank you everyone so much for all the love and support and all the new members we have. Once again, the members link is down in the description. Also, if you're digging the We Are The Disclosure t-shirt where yeah, I'm on there as a little cartoon with a bunch of our space friends, even a Draconian reptilian, you gotta throw them in there every now and then, not saying you should be best friends with them. But it's an awesome t-shirt, got all of our little friends on there. Order of Light, you can see the merch store there. Sign up, become a member for exclusive posts, lives, and other videos and connections, and you will receive emojis and stickers and be a part of the Order of Light family. Really appreciate it, and I hope this encourages all of you to look up. I tell over and over and over again, 10 minutes a night, 10 minutes a night, that's all it takes. 10 minutes a night somewhat of visibility in your skies, not too much light pollution, and you will see these things. And if you haven't seen my last two videos, especially the World UFO Day, where I go over what apps I use for enhancing the brightness and exposure. So if you do record one and your video is very dark, you can put this into that app and increase the brightness and exposure in order to help your uh, video become a little clearer and you're able to see stars and trees in the background versus a all black screen with a little white light in the middle. That don't help no one and it doesn't prove anything. So uh, go check that video out, World UFO Day. I posted that on July 2nd, which was World UFO Day. And in that video, you will see 21 UFO videos I caught within that two week period. I have another video where I caught uh, another amazing UFO. I posted that last week. And then this video, and uh, it's gonna be great. So I really appreciate all the love and support, and I hope to see you next time. Remember, we are the disclosure. We're not waiting for the clowns in DC. We're making it happen. A country boy like me is out here getting more UFO proof than the Pentagon and Congress has. That's what's going on. It comes from us, not those clowns in suits that don't go outside at night and watch the skies. It comes from us. Thank you. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Really appreciate all the love and support. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. I'm going to beam up out of here now. Good. Please join the YouTube membership for my channel. You will get exclusive badges, really awesome emojis, member only live streams, posts, and chats, and connections with me for only $5.99 a month. See you there. Hey everyone, check out the Order of Light merchandise store. We got a lot of different t shirts there. The Humans Aren't Real, Lower Always Creek Incident. We got tank tops and Merkaba. We got stickers, glasses, a lot of different glasses. So get thirsty. We got bags. I live in New Jersey. We don't have bags anymore. So it's really nice. We got flip flops, hoodies, and all the ladies out there. We got a bunch of awesome merchandise for you.